Walk up to her and tell her how you feel. This advice has left countless guys heartbroken. Even dating pros who have now had several women at their beck and call fell for this trick that never works. Do you want to get her obsessed with you? Well, then there are tricks that you have to deploy, and this is exactly what I'm going to be sharing with you. Read the room. Our first trick in the books that can make a woman so obsessed with reading the room. This trick can be likened to having a secret Glock pistol in your pocket, except it doesn't shoot bullets, but rather charms. Confused as to what the reading the room implies? Well, then here you go. Before you start rizzing her up or sending those sweet words down her ears, take a step back and observe the scene. Pay attention to her vibes, her body language, and the overall energy in the air. Then move ahead to ask yourself certain questions like, is she leaning in when I talk? Or is she laughing at my jokes like I'm the next Dave Chappelle? Or is she trying to send a save me signal? Genuinely answering this question will determine if you should go ahead with deploying your flirting tricks, or if you should take another option. Now, don't get it twisted. I'm not saying that you have to be a mind reader before you understand her body language while flirting. All I'm saying is that you should try as much as possible to stay tuned into the subtle signal she's sending out and swiftly adjust your approach accordingly. Trust me, doing this will turn you from an amateur with zero body count to a flirting pro who has numerous ladies at his beck and call. So dude, when you next hit a room full of beautiful women you'd like to make a go at, take a step back, observe, and access the entire situation. And then, at the perfect moment, strike. This is the first flirting trick that would make her think about you all day long. Smile. Next in our book of flirting tricks is the smile. I get it, it may have been drummed into your ear that smiling is for softies. Well, this claim is wrong, as a smile is the key ingredient that sends that desire down the hearts of ladies when it's deployed properly. The truth is, each time you flash those set of pearly whites, you're simply sending signals that you're friendly, confident, charming, and ready to take whatever relationship you both have to the next level. Think about it. You ever seen a guy with a killer smile and maybe just thought to yourself a little bit, damn, he's a ladies' man? Of course, I'm sure you have, and that's exactly what ladies see when you flash those smiles at them, because when you're flirting, nothing beats a genuine smile. Now, before you go about seeing a smile as the only trick that you need to get the ladies drooling over you, you have to know that the vibe you put out is also important. No matter how lovely your cute smile is, once you give out a dull or not-so-confident vibe, the ladies will not want to be around you, so remember to churn out positive energy while you're at it. So buddy, there you have it. Never go about flirting with a frowny face. Remember to make your smile genuine and try to avoid making those forced and awkward grins. Trust me, if you get it right, almost every lady you come across is going to want to be obsessed over you. Use your body language. For so many, flirting is all about dishing out lines and compliments and making her feel like the Queen of England. But the truth is, there's so much more to flirting than just general knowledge. You ever heard of the power of body language? It's one of the most powerful flirting tricks out there, and this is what it's all about. For the record, your body is constantly sending signals whether you realize that or not. From the way you stand to the way you walk, every little gesture means something, and it speaks volumes about who you are and what you want. So dude, learn to use this to your advantage. For better understanding, picture this scenario. You're at a bar, having a nice time with the boys, and you instantly spot a damsel across the room. Instead of awkwardly dragging yourself to her table and blurting out some words about how she looks like the previous Miss World, why not let your body do the talking? Stand tall and take confident strides to her table. Show her that you're confident in yourself and in control of the entire situation. Believe me, doing that is gonna send a clear message that you're not a walkover. Even before you blurt out a single line of a compliment, Reminds me of an experience I had a couple of summers ago. Well, after having a crazy week, I decided to hit the club with a few friends just to, you know, blow off some steam. While vibing to the songs coming out of the speakers, I couldn't help but notice a sexy brunette who seemed to have the attention of half the guys in the room. Well, to get her to do my bidding, I knew I had to do things a bit differently, so I employed body language. I started with establishing eye contact. One I was sure would send shivers down her spine, before walking down to where she was. Believe me, before blurting out a single word, she was already gone. I offered to buy her a drink, which she accepted before I could say anything. And then we were on the bed, tearing each other apart. God, I hit that coochie like crazy, and damn, you know, she helped me orgasm multiple times. Maybe that's TMI, maybe not. Truly, great night, though. So, buddy, 
If you want to get women obsessed, then let your body do the talking for you. And remember, the devil is in the details. From subtle touches to lingering glances, every little move you make has the power to get her dripping wet down there and ultimately craving for more. Let her borrow your clothes. Did you know that letting a lady borrow your clothes can make her obsessed? Well, if you don't, now you do. I know what's going on through your mind right now. You might be asking yourself why would you let someone borrow that expensive piece of jacket you just got from Louis Vuitton? The truth is, there is something undeniably sexy about this gesture that goes way beyond what words can explain. Call it the, the king of all flirting tricks, and you might just be right. Here's the psychology behind it all. When you offer your clothes to her in certain situations, it's not just a fabric that you're offering, it's a piece of yourself. You're simply saying, I trust you enough to let you into my personal space, to share something that's uniquely mine. And believe me, there are no flirting words stronger than these. Aside from the psychological aspect of it all, lending her your clothes is also a subtle way to get her to think about you each time that you're not around. Anytime she sees your jacket or your oversized hoodie, she will be reminded of you. Now, before you rush to your phone and make that call to tell her to come pack your entire wardrobe, you need to know that circumstances behind lending her your clothes are as important as the clothes that you're lending. For instance, calling her randomly to come pick up clothes from your wardrobe is not going to send that lingering feeling of obsession down her spine. It's going to make her see you as weird. A perfect instance where you can lend her some clothes is during a date or a walk in the park. For better understanding, picture this scenario. You schedule a date at a fancy restaurant and she arrives looking gorgeous in a skimpy red gown and some stiletto heels. However, the weather seems to be cold. Offering her your jacket at that instance or pulling off your hoodie and handing it over to her may as well do the trick. And another thing, if you want this trick to be potent, then don't just hand the clothes over to her. Assist her in wearing it. I know, it's cliche, it's old, but it is time-tested. When she next talks about being cold when she's with you, don't hesitate to pull off your jacket and hand it over to her. Obviously, this earns you several points for being generous and kind, but then there's that secret element of giving her a possession of yours, something she can hold on to. It'll deepen the connection. Back off if she isn't into you. The most important flirting trick that you need to know is learning to back off. Buddy, no one might tell you this, but even Michael Jordan gets rejected sometimes. So when she replies coldly to your flirting remarks, the least you could do is walk away. I get it. Rejection sucks. But here's the thing. It's part of life. And as much as it might be painful in the moment, it is necessary to respect a woman's boundaries and signal. Never force things. If she ain't feeling your riz, take a step down and, and try some other time. Remember, don't push and never plead for her love or her attention for that matter. Also, don't resort to creepy stalker tactics just to get her committed to you, as that's gonna bury any chance that you might have had with her. Be cool and respectful and be understanding, as there is a chance that she may just not be into you. But it also could be that she's just not in the mood. Either way, don't take it personally. Reminds me of a movie I watched a couple days ago. So, let's call this guy Smith, and he was a ladies' man with millions of ladies begging for his attention. He was good-looking, he dressed nice, and he was financially stable. But most of all, he was great at flirting. However, everything began to change when Jennifer came into the picture. Smith couldn't believe that a girl like Jennifer could resist his flirting advances. You want to know what he did? He backed off, but he didn't give up. He gave Jennifer some space, and he worked on himself, coming back for her stronger than he previously did. Didn't take long before they both found themselves beneath the duvet, with Smith giving her some crazy back shots. Buddy, don't get it twisted. When I say backing off is a flirting trick, I don't mean that you should give up on the idea of getting that damsel under your sheets. What I mean is that ladies might prove difficult sometimes, even if you are a good flirt. They might still turn you down at the first instance, and when that happens, just be cool. Who knows, she might come around in the future, or maybe she won't. You shouldn't hinge your happiness over her decisions. But either way, in accepting a graceful rejection, you would be proving to her that you're mature. And that goes a long way. Make her feel special. Time to talk about yet another powerful flirting trick, which is to make her feel special. Let's face it, no one doesn't like the feeling of being special, not even you. So when your flirtatious remarks start making her feel like the damn Queen of England, only one thing is for sure, her love for you. 
The truth is, after all, she is after someone who will make her feel like the center of the universe, and you have to make that happen. Now, I gotta say, making her feel special shouldn't be limited to the grand gestures and the public displays of affection. It should be about the little thing as well. From thoughtful gestures to flirtatious compliments, down to surprises, let her know that she's on your mind. Still confused about how to deploy this trick? Well, it's simple, so pay attention. When she talks, listen. Observe what she likes and what makes her happy, and use this information to your very own advantage. Picture this scenario. See, you meet a girl for the first time, and after some back and forth conversations, you succeed in getting her number. Along the line, you realize that her love languages are rare compliments and flirtatious stares. Well, that is what you should be concerned about. And don't go about using these tricks just like any guy would. Rather, make her feel special while you're at it. Make her believe that she's the only girl that you would give those kinds of stares or pass those kinds of compliments to. Whatever you feel would make her feel special, do it. Make it personal, make it genuine, and most of all, make it about her. Because here's the deal. When you make her feel special, you are building a connection and showing her that you see her that you appreciate her, and that you're willing to go the extra mile just to make her happy. Remember, nothing gets a girl so obsessed with a guy who knows how to make her feel like a queen. Be natural. Don't be someone that you're not. Yet another flirting trick that trumps all others is, ding, 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 you guessed it, authenticity. Be yourself. I can't seem to stress this enough, buddy. There is nothing more attractive than authenticity. And the earlier that you know this, the faster it's going to get you to hit that coochie. Many guys fake a lot of things, and flirting is not exempted from their list. While this might work in the short term, trust me, it's a disaster waiting to happen in the long run, as eventually, everything will become clear, and she will see right through the facade. Then believe me, there is nothing that the ladies hate more than a faker. Reminds me of an experience with a close friend of mine. Uh, I guess the, the time frame of it's not super important. But all Richmond wanted from Rebecca was, you know, coochie. But each time he complimented her, his compliments were not genuine. Imagine telling a girl that she's the most intelligent being created by God. Funny, right? Richmond said worse things. And unknown to him, a compliment is an important aspect of flirting, and getting it wrong may signify doom. Well, that piece of ingenuity made him lose the girl in the long run. Buddy, in all that you do, please don't be fake. Instead of trying to sell yourself as the best thing after McDonald's, Always be who you truly are around her, for your own sake, not just for hers. Be yourself, accept your flaws, your quirks, everything else. Now, don't confuse change with growth. You should still grow as a human being, but you do not need to fundamentally change yourself and what makes you tick as a human being. Own all of that, own your weirdness and celebrate yourself, most importantly. Be yourself. Someone who will get obsessed over you will do that even with your flaws, and being fake will only delay the inevitable. Remember, flirting with confidence is sexy, but adding authenticity to it is the deal maker. It's the key to getting her obsessed with you in no time. Don't get cocky. It's one thing to be confident and another to be arrogant. Buddy, in all that you do, try not to get too cocky, as no girl loves arrogance, or at least pure arrogance. Confidence and arrogance, there's a fine line between the two. The truth is, confidence is attractive, and every woman wants to be around a guy who knows what he's doing. But the moment that you cross that confidence line and you start seeing yourself as God's gift to women, then you are only prepping yourself for countless rejections. Believe me, I don't care how valuable you think you are. Nothing turns a woman off faster than a guy who's full of himself and believes that the world revolves around him, or worse yet, that he's special in some way. So instead of walking around like you have the entire world at your fingertips, stay humble. Let your humility show, even when you flirt. Reminds me of a movie I saw at the cinema last week. It was a love story centered on three main characters. You got Gloria, Tommy, and Josh. Tommy and Josh were brothers, and they were heirs to their father's conglomerate. However, character-wise, both were two sides of a coin. Tommy was the arrogant one, while Josh was cool-headed. Both met Gloria at a company event and instantly picked interest in her. While Tommy made Gloria feel less of herself by passing remarks and compliments that were outright downgrading, Josh did the opposite. From his glances to his physical contact, he made Gloria feel like a queen. And well, in the end, you know who she chose. No matter how good looking you are or how excellent your Riz game is, the moment the ladies notice that cockiness, they will immediately lose interest in you. So dude, exude confidence, but don't get cocky with it. Compliment her. You ever wonder how the dating pros get the ladies of their choice just by flirting? Compliments are the secret. Well, one of the many secrets. <laughs>
Buddy, you want to get her so obsessed about you that she would do anything to be in your good books, well then you will never fail to compliment her whenever you get the chance to. Don't get it twisted, I'm not saying anything of compliments would do the trick, you have to know how to pass genuine compliments, and if you don't, that's a deal breaker. And when I say genuine compliments, I mean compliments that rhyme with the situation at hand. Imagine complimenting a lady in a dress that she wore to a wedding and saying, that's sexy as fuck. That compliment is so fake and it would never get anywhere with anybody. Also, remember to try and be creative with the compliments. Don't stick to the tried and true, you look beautiful phrase every Tom, Dick, and Harry normally pass each time they meet a girl. Be different. For better understanding, picture this scenario. You meet a girl for the first time and immediately get attracted to her. Instead of walking up to her and telling her how beautiful she looks, you could say something different, like, You look exactly like the girl my mama wants me to bring back home. Trust me, once you get the compliment trick right, she's gonna do everything to be around you. And there you have it. Flirting tricks that never fail to get the ladies obsessed about you. Use them wisely, my friends.